everyone, welcome back. It's Moe, AK Swedish Whiskey Girl. And today we are here with the Macallan 12 double cask. It's at 4% EBV. I have a sample here. And this has been matured in both American and European sherry oak. And I've actually been to the distillery, the new, brand new kind of redesign of it. It actually looks quite cool. And we actually had a really good time at the distillery. I had appendicitis when we were there, so I can't say that I remember too much of the tasting, but you did have quite a good tasting at the end of that tour. It is very much kind of a, a show, the tour there. And I think even people that might not be so interested in whiskey would still enjoy it. It is quite entertaining. It's quite cool to see the whole kind of capacity of it. What I did miss at the distillery, which I really like in others just before we went to the Macallan we actually went to Glen Farkless where everything is very very traditional so it's kind of the opposite of Macallan in a way but it was kind of the sense of everything because in Glen Farkless we got to go into the warehouse and just stand there next to the cask and get this lovely lovely scent so you get the scent from the the washbacks and kind of everything on the way in production but at Macallan it was all kind of there wasn't a lot of sense in there and I mean, it's such a big capacity. It's such a popular whiskey now as well. And the, the prices just keep creeping up, I feel. So it is definitely one that's super, super popular, but it's uh, definitely worth a visit if you're curious about the distillery. And yeah, I'd probably recommend if you haven't been to distilleries before, if you're gonna go to Macallan, also go to a traditional one if you're a whiskey enthusiast, just so you can see kind of the differences in something that is quite, Oh, what's the word? It's quite ed educational and I think it's quite easy to grasp the production there and they do have an interesting story. But at a, another distillery it might be a little bit trickier to grasp production because it's it's quite um, raw in a way. But it's still quite interesting to see it and uh, get the scent, sense of everything. But we are going to try this one. It is about £50. Pounds this 12 double cask and it can be a bit tricky with the expressions because there's a lot of different versions of basically all the age statements so you have the fine oak 12 year old I think you have the sherry oak fine um, sherry oak 12 year old and then this double cask so yeah I haven't had Macallan in uh, ages <laughs> but I need to go back to the distillery and do the tasting because from memory you got I think it was like four single malts and also the new make which is interesting but yes, let's have a look on the nose. It's a little bit floral, I would say. Floral and woody, like springtime woodiness. So it's like slightly damp, but starting to dry up in a way. It has that kind of dampness and coldness from winter, but it's starting to become a little bit Maybe a little bit wetter, but also drier at the same time, if that makes sense. There's definitely some kind of sherry influence coming through, but it's like floral mixes, like a flower bouquet mixing in with a little bit of raisin sweetness, perhaps. And some cinnamon. But also quite malty on the nose. It's that maltiness, the floral notes, and that kind of springtimey wood that binds together. Let's have a little taste, Slangeva. Quite easy going, but with a little bit of that kind of cinnamon oak spice on the tongue. But yeah, fairly gentle. A little bit floral on the palate as well. And the woodiness, it's quite soft and soft and dry, not in a drying sensation, but in like dry wood flavor, if that makes sense. But it also has that kind of spiciness that lingers on your tongue. Not a lot of bitterness even though there's a touch of it. I 
And there's still a maltiness, it's almost like a mince pie. You could get the crust and it's a little bit like flour-y, not like the flour bouquets, but like flour that you bake with, plain flour. But also the floral notes coming through. Quite a floral expression, I would say, overall, for me, today, anyways. I've also heard that apparently the one that a lot of people enjoy in the Macallan range is the 18. It was a little bit out of my price range, but I might be able to buy a sample <laughs> soon to try one. It's that kind of thing when a lot of people talk about it, you do get really curious and yeah, I do want to try things for myself to get my own opinion. Overall, I think it's quite easy going, quite gentle, but with nice flavours. I can definitely see why a lot of people like it. And also in comparison to the 12 year old sherry oak, I think the proportion of the American oak egg sherry cast, so the American oak cast that they have seasoned with sherry, um, is higher in this one than the sherry oak, which has more of the European seasoned sherry oak casks, I believe. Yeah, soft floral. Now the bitterness is coming out a little bit more, I would say. There's something else there, it's almost like a little nuttiness, like ground almonds, perhaps. But overall, I can definitely see why a lot of people like it. It's almost in that kind of same category as Glymphidic. Has lovely flavours, quite easy going and smooth. And of course the bottle looks great, so uh, it's a great gift, I think, for someone as well. But as normal, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Which Macallan is your favourite? Which one would you like me to see me review next? <laughs> it's an interesting range, and I, since I haven't tried them in a long time, I'm at, uh, in a long time, I am very curious about them. So please let me know which one's your favourite in the comments here below. And of course, if you want to support me and the channel, I'd be absolutely over the moon if you would consider using my affiliate links the next time you're shopping with either Master Malt, the Whiskey Exchange, or the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. Those links are in the description here below, as well as links to my other social channels if you're curious about those. I am currently moving all my blog posts from my old blog to my new one, scandinavianabroad.com, and I'll try and move the Macallan blog piece over and I'll link that in the description below, hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed. Um, and yes, I want to say a massive thank you to my wonderful supporters on Patreon. I'm so glad I have you with me on my whiskey journey. But as always, I hope you've all had an absolutely wonderful day. Slanjava, skål!